The Minister of State for Aviation inspecting ongoing work at the new arrival and departure hall, the control tower and the runway of the Kaduna Airport. Beyond the inspection, the contract for the repair work on the Abuja Kaduna Highway has been awarded and is expected to be completed in good time in order to ease movement of Abuja bound passengers to and from the Kaduna Airport. The runway is uh, very good, excellent, in good condition, uh, with all the lights and so on. And um, the terminal building, to my surprise, it's uh, on the final stages of being completed. And I'm very convinced that uh, within the next uh, few weeks, uh, before the due date, the terminal building will be ready. The minister also hints that adequate arrangement has been put in place to convey passengers to Abuja by bus or the Kadna railway station, depending on the choice of the passengers involved. The president uh, had already approved uh, some of money and instructed that repairs be taken immediately. And the Federal Ministry of Transportation and the Federal Ministry of Power, Works and Housing are committed to it and they will deliver that road to make it more trouble. Aviation is an exact science and technology. Uh, th therefore, whatever we say will be much against, our, we will walk our talk and will be much against our actions. For the authorities in charge of the relocation and logistics in Kaduna State, the airport is ready to fit the bill. As soon as the resources are there, they mobilize on time. We supervise them. Everything will be done in a given period of time. We have made all the necessary arrangements uh, because we put in motion many, many machineries to make sure that this is success. And we believe in the next two, three, four weeks, if you come to Kaduna, you will see the work that the state government is doing to make sure that uh, our airport is up to standard. The Abuja airport is expected to be closed from March 8th to April 19, 2017. And during that time, the Kaduna airport will serve its purpose. Yes, it's politics today, and one issue that came up uh, at resumption uh, of uh, the senators uh, had to do with uh, the airport, the proposed diversion of flights to Kaduna Airport. It's what we're looking at, and we'll still have Group Captain, uh, retired Group Captain John Ojikutu here. He's an aviation expert, and we're trying to look at this issue, and you did say this is coming too late in the day. It's been since 2000 when and the government, 10. 2010, when 22. the government had wanted to do all of this. Let's talk more, speak more on safety and see why the N National Assembly, the senators specifically, should understand the importance of what uh, this is about. Look, if you don't have a good runway, when you look at the type of aircraft that land in Abuja, you are talking of medium and large aircrafts. And each one of them, by the time they're going to land, they're probably going to use about takeoff run and landing run is about 1,000 to 1,500. And the area where, most of the area where they're going to do all this run is where this issue happens. Because the area that is bad is the, usually the area where you have the landing areas. And they keep opening and opening and opening. If that area is not worked on now, it has even removed the surface, it has gone into the structure. The structure is affected. So apart from removing the asphalt now, they have to deal with the structure before they put another asphalt on it. So they have to consider the fact that uh, it is not just because you want to fly, it is because you want to fly safe. And they have to realize that, uh, like somebody was saying that uh, it's an international, it's not international airport, they're going to carry international passengers. If anything happens to any aircraft that does not belong to us on that runway, we pay for it. We've done that before. MM2 here, one eight right. When it had that same problem and they were working on it, an aircraft landed there. A cargo aircraft landed there, got damaged. We paid six million dollars to the owner of that aircraft. Six million dollars. If it were to be a Nigerian aircraft, you know how they are going to pass it and you are not going to hear anything about it. For a very long time, they Ghana shared the account of NCAA before that money was paid. The basic thing is that let them repair that airport. 
But again, it would seem as if some of them have, this, uh, ha have a point. Uh, recall that we've seen some comments coming in from some international airlines saying uh, that the choice of Kaduna uh, as uh, the landing uh, destination for any flight uh, meant for Abuja is a no-go area for them. Yeah. One would have thought that uh, Mina Airport, uh, which is uh, looking at proximity, is closer to Abuja. But uh, we also uh, had that discussion with the Minister for Power Works and Housing, and he did mention uh, the, that portion of the Mina Road. So how do we sort out this, knowing for all that international flights just might not uh, go that route? Look to me, this is the time for our own domestic airport to build capacity. This is the time for them to make their money. If British Airways wants to come to Lagos, two, three times a day, allow them to do that. But create, it will create market for our own airline, that they will carry this passenger. Like somebody said today, this is the time for government to review the BASA. This is the time for us to review the BASA. Any airline that is not ready to come, review the BASA. They don't come to Lagos, because some airlines are flying to three of our airports. When you find an airline that is flying three or two airports, then you don't have business for your own domestic airline. So your, 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 your alternative should be maybe places it's like It's only Lagos. six weeks. I'm coming. Six yeah. weeks is so long, it's a longer time, such a long time. For so, safety. The, I know, but, but you just said something about uh, you know, business for local airlines. Uh, are you looking to uh, some of them landing in maybe Lagos and uh, onward movement by local aircraft uh, airlines from Lagos to maybe Kaduna? Kaduna. Yeah, for the domestic airline, not international. But the domestic airline, they can land there. The only problem, the only mistake they made was that all these things were there in 2010. We shouldn't just start thinking about repairing the road of Mina to Abuja by now. If they had repaired the road from Mina to Abuja, it would save us the problem of Kaduna. Kaduna is farther to Abuja than Mina. It's, it's much farther. It's almost twice the distance of Mina to Abuja. And they should have started this thing long ago. We are going to repair this runway in the next two, three years. What are the challenges? You look at those challenges. If we are going to use Kaduna, what are the challenges? If we are going to use Milan, which are the challenges? There are even more challenges than some of the things we are talking about. Since it's agreed by everyone that uh, safety must come first. Safety must come first for any airline. In, in, in wrapping all of this, what would be your suggestions uh, in order for us to uh, you know, reduce the pains and the troubles by air travelers who will be coming to Abuja and uh, having their flights diverted maybe to Lagos or Kaduna? We are still talking about international flights going to Kaduna, to Kaduna. I don't think it's going to happen. Even before the minister called for stakeholders, I don't think it's going to happen. With some of the things that are coming from Kaduna. Look at the distance of Kaduna to Abuja. 188 kilometers. You're looking at now, uh, security? You, yeah, you look at security. Now you look at an aircraft that is going to depart from Lagos, 7 o'clock. With some of the noise, nonsense things you are hearing about, no fuel, no fuel. It doesn't depart until the next two hours. You have about one hour plus flight to Kaduna. Then you have about two hours flight, I mean, sorry, two hours drive from Kaduna to Lagos. You're talking about six hours journey to Abuja. So what should the government do? If, like I said, if it is possible to repair Mina to Abuja within these six weeks, I mean, within now, I think they intend, they intend to start around 8th of March. If the Minister for Power, or the Minister for Works is able to rehabilitate, because it's not a new country, they can rehabilitate Mina to Abuja. That is the only option left for them. It's a shorter distance, repair the road, then the domestic airline will still carry the international flight to Mina. They won't go to Mina. The only place they will go to is Abuja. When Abuja is ready, then they will start coming to Abuja. I'm not speaking for them, but from, what I, from the briefing I had them give to the Honorable Minister last week, Thursday, it was very obvious that they've already made up their mind that they will not get into Abuja if Abuja has to be closed until and they won't go to Kaduna until Abuja is ready. And you say six weeks uh, can that be is six what, weeks. That is what the minister said. That what they have planned is to get all the materials. They won't start until all the materials are on the ground.
all the materials they need. Once they're on the ground, then they start work. Then it will take them six weeks. Julius Baja will complete the job. Retired Group Captain John Ajikutu, many thanks for speaking with us. I think uh, he's raised uh, two key issues there. Uh, perhaps the Minister for Power Works and Housing can get uh, that road fixed if a budget for that road is already up and running because as it stands, uh, there wasn't a budget for the uh, Mina Road. That's the road you're looking at now. Uh, a portion of it was taken about uh, 48 hours ago by Channel Television. If uh, the government can quickly fix that as uh, uh, prescribed by uh, Captain Ojikutu, that uh, could help uh, uh, take care of some of those flights that will land in the MENA airport and in other uh, airports uh, concerning international flight he still thinks that the talking to these uh, operators uh, should continue and possibly see how uh, best they can use the Lagos airport and uh, in uh, consonance with the local aircraft operators uh, in the country. This uh, is uh, politics today and this is where we're landing the program and uh, on a good runway, by the way. Many thanks for watching. I'm Sulaiman.